during the days of Jesus, when he walked the earth, the thought was a significant pleasure next to the lion, the king of peace. Thoughts are recognized for being sly and cunning. There is an old proverb that goes, when people are at home, they tend to think of themselves as lions, but in public they are just thoughts. Church, you got to remember that everyone who smiles in your face is not your friend. Amen. Because the dog always shows the teeth mm. before he fights. Mm. He was going to find out what Jesus was up to anyway he could. So he sent his dog to Jesus, bringing a bone, telling Jesus to get out of town. King Herod knew that the best way to get information out of someone was to act like a friend. Herod knew that the dog that brings the bone would take one day. So the Pharisees came up to Jesus trying to be friendly, bringing him a bone. Church, we need to learn not to take a bone from every dog that come in our faith. Amen. There are some people who come in your faith trying to get you to talk about your name. Mm-hmm. You dogs that bring them up. <laughs> there are some people who will try to get you to tell them all of your bit. Mm-hmm. You dogs that bring them up. There are some people who will come to you hoping that you will step up and start gossiping. And they will gossip along with you. Come on, the dog that brings the bone. Church, I'm talking about the dog that brings the bone this morning. Because the dog that brings the bone will take one day. There are some of you in here right now who are carrying the bone from one place to another. Some of you are carrying the bone of God. Some of you are carrying the bone of other people's death. Some of you are carrying the bone of home record. Some of you right here in this church are past the bone. Right now, you're past the bone. Why the quiet saying, you sit up on the pew running your mouth, past the bone. Why the secretary making the mouth, you sit up on the quiet bench, leaning over people, past the bone. Why the preachers, the preachers, some of you turn around in your speech and pass the bone. It seems like the only reason some of you come to church is to bring bones. You bring bones from one place to another. You bring bones to church that you got from work. Some of you bring bones to work that you got from the grocery store. Some of you bring bones to the grocery store that you got from the laundromat. Some of you bring bones to the laundromat that you got over the telephone. It seems to me that you need to stop carrying that bone and bury it. Because the dog that brings the bone will take one of them. Church, as we take a final look at our text, we find Jesus saying, Go tell that fox. Behold, I cast out demons and perform cures today and tomorrow. And the third day I finish my course. Nevertheless, I must go on my way today and tomorrow, and the day following. For it cannot be that a prophet should perish in Jerusalem. Oh, Jerusalem, oh, Jerusalem. Killing the prophet and throwing those who are sent to you. For often when I have gathered your children together, and a hen gathered a bit under a wing, and you will not behold your house is the same. And I tell you, you will not see me until I say, Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem to see about the prophets who were being killed. Church, whenever God's children are in trouble, he will come and see about them. Just like the mother hen, when she hears a little chick cry. She will come and see about them. And just like a good mother will come and see about her child. And Jesus is like a good mother. If you are in trouble, all you got to do is call on Jesus. And like a good mother, Jesus will always come and see about you. It does not matter how bad you are. It does not matter how hard your head was. But like a 
that the good mother of Jesus will always come and see about you. Yes. That's why I love the Lord. Yes. That's why I need to yes. I can go down on a Tennessee yes. oh, yes. and say, Now, yes. Lord, now, Lord, now, Lord, now, Lord, I'm good. I'm good. I'm in trouble now. Yes. I'm in serious trouble. Yes. I don't know why. Yeah. 